what's up everyone welcome back to my channel so i'm going to be doing another pick a card reading what good things are going to be coming your way all right so keep in mind that this is a general reading also this is a timeless reading okay so just take what little that resonates with you and leave the rest as you can see we got three piles here um i didn't put any stones on these piles instead i'm i put a door on each pile so we have pile one which is door one for pile two you have door two and then you have for pile three you have door three all right so the number 42 could be significant for you as well for door three So the timestamps are going to be down below. Take what resonates and leave the rest. Let's go ahead and get into your reading and let's see what good things are coming your way. For those of you who chose door one, let's go ahead and get into your reading. All right, so let's lay out your cards. So we have forgive and forget, a ritual cleansing of pain and lies. Arise and awaken. See a new sunrise. Interesting. Okay. Good things are coming your way. Some of you could be forgiving someone and for, you know, like forgetting someone and forgiving someone at the same time. All right. So you have on target. Follow your ideal light path. You have successful career at happy working working environment pay raise and promotions so beautiful energy of the good things that's coming your way all right some of you are following your career path some of you are getting promotions or pay raise all right you have breaking bad habits self-acceptance excellent mental health and letting go of vices so a lot of you are breaking bad habits, okay, um, accepting yourself, okay. Some of you are um, in a better mental space and, and, you know, letting go, forgiving and forgetting. Interesting. So that's beautiful energy. Let's take a look at your tea leaf oracle. So you have carriage, a journey, either physical or mental. You have the month of November. That could be significant for you. All right. Unsettled times need to plan ahead. You also have door opportunities are waiting for you. You have bull. Do not back down from opposition. Show strength and fortitude. You have purse. Pay attention to your finances. You also have kite, a vacation. Yeah, I'm getting some sort of... A new beginning in your career okay definitely a pay raise some of you may need to pay attention to your finances a lot of you may be wanting to take um, some sort of a vacation we have bird perched waiting for a news package or a letter some of you could be waiting for some sort of important documentation um, maybe this is going to bring in some sort of money maybe you're waiting for a check or something like that interesting let's see um Let's take a look at your Lenormand. You have the cross. You have the key. And you also have stork, if I'm not mistaken. Birds or something. So we got the number 36, the number 33, the number 17. Those numbers could be um, significant for you interesting we got the cross so this is like sad news morning but it looks like um, this could have been like a loss of something or maybe someone um, but I'm getting with the key this also talks about finding some sort of uh, solution um, whatever this is you definitely show some sort of strength 
I feel like this is kind of like an obstacle or something. This could be going back to this forgiving and forgetting. But I'm getting with this key. This talks about you finding solutions to a problem. And we have this card here. This talks about making some sort of a change, improvement, and upgrade of some sort. <clears throat> so this definitely could be you getting some sort of an upgrade or a pay raise or something when it comes to your career. So you have mall crawl <laughs> on the hunt retail therapy meeting at the mall. Pleasantly surprised a happy find. Getting a lot of abundant energy here where you're like you're going to be shopping. Okay, that's the energy that I'm getting. Finding different things at the mall. Um, we have proposal. Get proposed to a surprise, a gift, something that is proposed. Um, things moving to the next level. Yeah, I'm getting some sort of an upgrade. Maybe you're getting an upgrade. I don't know, maybe a ring or something. Some sort of an upgrade here. We also have take a chance. Go for it. A good chance. Set your intentions for a positive outcome. Um, <clears throat> you can't win if you don't play. Something about you taking some sort of a risk. Um, some of you, this could be what's coming up or, you know, some good things that may be happening for you, a proposal, okay, but I'm getting some, some sort of an upgrade, maybe you're going on vacation as well, so let's take a look at your tarot, we got the six of wands, you have the three of cups, the ten of swords, the four of swords, and the three of wands, so this is my distance card. But I'm also seeing a lot of celebrations, partying. Yeah, the Six of Wands. A lot of success. I'm getting it celebrating. I feel like there's almost a bittersweet energy here, especially with the Ten of Swords. I don't know. I feel like there could either be maybe, maybe you've lost a parent or something of that sort. It feels like someone that was close to you is not able to celebrate your success or they're not here to see it or witness it because i'm just getting like a bittersweet either this is someone who's at a distance from you or the, or this is literally someone who's not here in the physical like that's what i'm getting it just feels like a bittersweet like you've you've been very successful or you you have completed something something good is happening where you're getting proposed to or something of that sort it's a, a big event or something happening where someone close to you or someone that you love is not around that's the energy that i'm getting it's sort of like a bittersweet because i i'm almost feeling as if i'm missing something so um and this definitely could be in regards to like yeah the cross because we got the four swords and the ten of swords <clears throat> This kind of reminds me of like someone that was close to you. Maybe they're not around any longer or something of that sort. They're not uh, like they're not here for you to share your good news with or your success with. That's the energy that I'm getting. But you're on the right path or you are going to be following some sort of right path or some some sort of ideal path or something. I'm getting a lot of success, a lot of abundance taking a chance, you know, um, maybe even dating someone, um, that's overseas or something of that sort, but I'm, I'm just getting, I'm just getting like a bittersweet energy here, okay, so, um, we got all the elements here, okay, if this reading resonates with you in any way, like, share, and subscribe, okay, um, I'll see you next time, bye. For those of you who chose pile two or door two, let's go ahead and get into your reading. Um, what good things are coming your way? So you have palmistry, fortune, and tarot, collective destiny. Well, this could be your destiny tarot or um, palm reading. The palm lines from birth tell your sacred palmistry. Listen to the notes of intuition. So interesting, some good things are, maybe some of you are getting tarot reading, some of you may be reading, getting your palms read or something of that sort. Um, 
or you could be into this. All right, so let's see. Happy love, a joyful, stable partnership, and good friends. Interesting. So that's a good energy to start this reading off with, okay? Some of you may have recently gotten readings, tarot readings, okay, or something. <clears throat> so we have power symbol, cleanse, purify, and protect the physical body. You also have healing, true healing of the mind body and soul wow some of you could be taking like spiritual baths or something like that i'm just getting very spiritual energy here very powerful cleansing yeah you've been either into spirituality or you're interested in that or something of that sort but we got you know stable partnerships is what i'm getting so <laughs> that's a really good thing to have Okay, so you have light, lightning, control your anger or you, or you will be sorry. You have harp, great happiness. You have dog far away, a distant friend is thinking of you. Um, okay, so yeah, a distant friend is thinking of you. We have the month of April. You have crown, honor and respect will come to you. <laughs> yeah, I, that's what I was getting, psychic ability. So you are psychic or like you're very fucking intuitive, okay? Yeah, you could be into tarot or astrology, palm, palm reading. Like, that's what I'm getting. You're very fucking intuitive. Okay, so we have a distant friend, someone from your past or someone that's at a distance from you. A friend, someone is thinking about you. Like, that's the energy that I'm getting. So you have Ram, a stubborn and aggressive person. Either this could be you or this could be this person who's thinking about you. So you have current opportunity or windfall, abundance coming your way. Um, I'm getting either you might need to control your anger. You may be the stubborn or aggressive person, or maybe this is this person that's at a distance from you. Take it however it resonates. <laughs> so let's continue. So you have ship. So this is definitely talking about like you needing to travel, relocate, you're packing your bag, something like movement, travel is what I'm getting from this card, ship. We have um, uh, the clover, so a lot of luck and abundance. Yeah, you're very lucky. You're very fucking abundant. That's the energy that I'm getting. Yeah, we got the flowers. You may be also receiving a gift or something. Like, yeah, something that's going to put a smile on your face. Like, I'm just getting, like, you being very abundant. But I'm getting, like, with the flowers, this definitely talks about, like, an, something that warms your heart. Like, something that makes you feel good. So you may be hearing from this distant person here or something, but I'm getting, this is your energy. So whatever you do, I'm getting your into spirituality. You're going to gain a lot of respect, you know, like that's what I'm getting. Okay. <laughs> that's what I'm getting from this energy. It could be a lot of tarot readers or spiritual people watching my reading. That's especially with this pile. That's definitely what I'm picking up. So let's see. You have playing the field, still meeting, dating other people, seeing each other, being a player, games being played. So, yeah, there could be a distant friend thinking about you, but I'm getting somebody here as a, as a player. Somebody likes to date multiple people. They're still playing the field. Or maybe this could be you. Maybe, you, maybe you're maybe you dating, <clears throat> you know. Interesting. So we have Stork. A new addition, um, ideas manifested, pregnancy, baby child children family good news and inspiration and then you also have oh no you hang up length lengthly exciting conversations and and okay so a lot to talk about into each other meaningful giddy a lot in common so you could be meeting someone or maybe you're dealing or talking to this person that's at a distance the person who's thinking about you um <clears throat> interesting yeah but i'm getting somebody here maybe into dating other people um maybe you're thinking about traveling to where this person seeing this person something of that sort but i'm getting you being very abundant okay all right so let's take a look at your tarot so you got the ten of wands you got the Eight of Wands. Yeah, I'm getting a lot of communication things moving fast, very rapidly, like a rapid change. Also getting communication. 
Um, we got the high priestess. Yeah, I'm getting you are fucking like you are no it's no doubt about that. I'm definitely reading for a spiritual being. Period. We got too many spiritual cards here. Like you're very intuitive. <clears throat> and I'm picking this from different decks. Like this is crazy. Yeah, you're very fucking intuitive. We got the high priestess. We got somebody here who has a lot of psychic abil abilities. You needing to trust your intuition. You may also know that this person ain't all the way there like or they they're not all the way 100 faithful or something of that sort i'm getting somebody coming with baggage or like a lot of res responsibility a lot of baggage and burden yeah we got the lovers <laughs> we got the king of pentacles could be dealing with an earth sign towards virgo capricorn okay i'm getting you are very spiritual like you're like yeah that's what i'm getting fucking tarot reader or a spiritual being like yeah that's what i'm getting you're very intuitive i feel like you need to go with your intuition this i feel like this is surrounding love yeah but i don't know why i'm getting somebody likes to play the field somebody might still like to be a player or may have a habit of dating other people or this is you okay but it's like one or the other <laughs> it could be this person that's at a distance from you who's thinking about you because i'm getting somebody here is very stubborn i'm getting fire energy aries leo sagittarius earth energy taurus virgo capricorn could be any sign but i'm getting like there's a lot of tr like talking going on you could be talking to this person about traveling i'm definitely getting like travel um or them traveling towards you okay but i'm getting like you're definitely very intuitive and i feel like you need to listen to your intuition um <clears throat> if you don't want any children i suggest you wrap it up if you decide on traveling toward this person and staying the night with them or whatever like because we got the stork here this talks about a child birth pregnancy <laughs> um so, yeah, other than that, a lot of great things are happening. A lot of abundance, wealth, okay, good things happening. This could also be like a twin flame connection that you have with this person. Um, <laughs> that's what I'm getting with this energy. Okay, so, yeah, I'm going to leave it there. I'm going to leave it there. You got this under control because you're very intuitive. So, you know what to do. But, um, yeah, if this one resonates with you in any way, like, share, and subscribe. I'll see you next time. For those of you who chose pile three, I was laughing off of pile two. It's like, that was so funny. <laughs> All right. So, um, pile two, I mean, pile three. <laughs> um, so we have the number 42 could be significant for you. Let's see what good things are coming your way. All right. So we have inner power by your own command. You brought yourself here at this moment in life. You have nothing to fear. So you have a, you're going to have a lot of inner power, inner strength, okay, which is a good thing. You have sun, the golden energy of the sun brings fame and fortune. Ooh, so a lot of you could, this is good things coming your way, fame and fortune. A lot of strength, a lot of inner power here. <clears throat> so you have love charm, attract a lover, soulmate, or life partner. So I'm getting like fame and fortune, a lot of abundant energy. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting fame and fortune. You're attracting your soulmate, life partner. Um, You also have dra dragonfly. You bring light to this world. Yeah, I don't know why I'm getting like, ooh, I'm reading for a famous person. Hey, <laughs> I'm reading for a famous person. This is what's coming your way. Something, yeah, like yeah like you're going to be center stage worldwide like what the hell okay i'm reading for a famous person what is going on some good good shit coming your way what is going on okay so we got weeping willow family sorrow i don't know why i'm getting like hollywood something in threes you know they say in hollywood death comes in threes or something about the number three well you know that's what we say anyway death comes in threes but i'm getting with this family uh, weeping willow family sorrow oh wow okay so we have turkey someone is behaving stupidly you have bridge a successful outcome to a problem you have finger warning you of a problem either now or in the near future okay so you have angels spiritual guidance protection from harm so this is interesting wow 
Okay, so we have barrel. You feel something is lacking in your life, perhaps love, money, or goals. Interesting. Okay, so this hasn't happened yet for some of you. We have bouquet, compliments from an admirer, and then you also have tower. Yeah, solid foundation, success with effort. So this hasn't happened yet. Interesting for some of you. Yeah, because I'm getting with the tower, this is like my solid foundation, okay? But it takes work to get here. So... I don't feel like this has happened yet. This is this is definitely and so that makes sense why we got the inner power. It, it talks about a lot of strength. Yeah, you're needing a lot of inner power and strength. Interesting. Some of you may be fearing that things are not going to go right, <clears throat> but spirit is saying that you have the inner strength here. Maybe it's a lot going on. Maybe within your family. Um, let's see, let's take a look here. We got, um, wow, the anchor, you have the moon, and you have, yeah, the labyrinth. Okay, this talks about obstacles. Yeah, this talks about obstacles, twists and turns, ups and, ups and downs. When you feel like you're getting somewhere, boom, you hit you hit a fucking wall. Like, that's what this energy talks about. It's not going to be an easy, straight shot. No, this comes along with rides, twists and turns, ups and downs, loopholes, all of that. Like, that's what I get with this labyrinth card. Because it talks about a lot of obstacles. Whatever this is, whatever your dream is, it's not going to be easy to get to this. Um, that's... That's what I'm getting. That's exactly what I'm getting. And I'm also getting to, you may fall off track due to like love, romance. That's the, that's another message that's coming through as well. We got staying in. Um, night in your space, a moment alone, a partner is busy, free time or mental vacation. You also have friendship, true friends, solid friendship, authentic, would do anything for you. Always there no matter what. So you have what a catch, an ideal partner, mate, abundant, self-esteem, value. The answer is yes. Marriage material. So maybe some of you could be marrying someone who's famous or something of that sort is what I'm getting. So if this is not your energy, then this is definitely, you know, <laughs> someone that you may be coming into contact with. Because I'm getting with this bouquet. We have compliments from an admirer. Um... interesting yeah this could be maybe you getting involved with someone who has fame and they have a lot of fortune is what i'm getting yeah because we have love charm attract a lover a soulmate or life partner and i'm getting an ideal partner or mate so interesting i feel like this could also be oh i'm getting to a friend so maybe you're single i'm getting a friend maybe your friend could be telling you to come out go out with me they or maybe they could be trying to set you up with someone interesting because i'm getting like romance here as well all right so let's see um we got the devil we got the nine of cups we got the justice card we got the temperance, and we got the page of cups. Interesting. So, I'm getting, okay, so we got Capricorn energy, we got temperance, we got justice here. We got a lot of people here. Um, I feel like, I don't know why I'm getting like the first date might not go so well, or you may feel like this person, because I'm getting like a friend may either try to get you out of the house either trying to get you to talk to someone or meet someone i'm getting dating someone this person they may even they could be destined for fame is what i'm getting yeah they could be destined for fame but it's like some because with the dragonfly yeah it says you bring light to the world and i'm getting this is surrounding a lover like that's the energy that i'm getting a lifetime partner um, 
but I don't know why I'm getting like a friend. A friend could be getting you two together, trying to bring you two together. It might not go right the first time. Like, I don't know why I'm getting that, but I am. Because <laughs> this person may come off as a little arrogant. Um, yeah, because look, we got turkey. Someone is behaving stupidly. I'm getting, I'm getting some, this person may come off as either immature or they may come off as someone who brags a lot. Um, cause I'm getting somebody here is destined to be successful. I don't know if it's you or someone that you're coming into union with, um, something about fame and fortune. Yeah. Somebody who has a solid foundation. They may be in the limelight public eye or something of that sort. Um, interesting because <laughs> i feel like the first time around they may come off as very arrogant or they may come off as someone who just wants to sleep around or something like that they may come off as someone who's very toxic they may come off as someone who likes to drink or they get very loud or um macho man like with the s on hs when they start drinking and some shit like that and it may turn you off the first time but because I'm getting somebody bringing you two together, like trying to balance some things out, trying to make some things work or something of that sort. I'm getting a friend. This could be a friend of yours. Okay. Interesting. But yeah, I'm getting love and admire someone coming forward towards you. Um, this could definitely be in the future. Okay. So I'm gonna leave it there. Um, we got a lot of elements here. We got Scorpio, uh, Cancer, Pisces. We got um, Capricorn. Okay, we got Libra energy. Um, we got Sagittarius. Could be dealing with any sign. Okay, but that's what I have for you. Um, yeah, um, when I'm getting to with this barrel... You may feel like something is lacking in your life, perhaps love, money, or goals. This could be you feeling like this, but I, I don't feel like it's going to um, be that way all the time. I'm getting, yeah, or even with the person that you're dealing with. But that's what I have. Y'all, I'm going to leave it there. I'm going to stop this reading and leave it there. <laughs> if this one resonates with you in any way, like, share, and subscribe. I'll see you next time.